Hey, guess what? More cruises canceled in July. Surprise. This time it's Norwegian. And as I dug deeper into it, I kind of got a bone to pick with this refund policy. In today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show, let me tell you about the latest cruise cancellation and really ask the question, Norwegian, what, what the heck you doing? Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the La Lita Loca Cruise Show. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy travel and cruise content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of the episodes. Well, we talked about it. Carnival Corporation, Carnival Cruise Line, the leader in cruising, continues to lead the way. Just a few weeks ago, Carnival coming out with the announcement that they would be canceling their June-July cruises and giving us that slick new phased reopening plan for August the 1st. Well, the other two big cruise lines, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Lines, holding out, maybe teasing us that there would be cruises in July. Well, Norwegian has said, nope, uh, we are not going to cruise in July. Let's just do it like Carnival. Let's cruise in August. And that was the announcement that came down today. Uh, And as I was digging into this, I, I was struck by something that's in their refund policy that I guess I'd never noticed before. And I checked with my favorite travel agent, my wife, Jenny, and she's like, yeah, that's the way it's been working. Let me let me share this with you. First of all, if you're somebody who's had your cruise canceled by Norwegian uh, for July or any of these June cruises that may have still been on the books, they will be generous, giving you a 125% future cruise credit automatically applied to your account. You can book that. You can use that today. And as a special incentive, if you book your cruise before May the 31st, you can get a 20% discount on that cruise. Future cruise credits can be used all the way through 2022. Well, here's the interesting thing, though. Say you don't want to use that future cruise credit. They're going to give you a refund. It may take 90 days to get that refund, and that's been pretty standard fare. But as I was looking through the information on Norwegian's website, I noticed that if you want to get that refund, you can't ask for it yet. And you can't ask for it for like the next 19 days. I found that to be odd. So if you would like a refund for the cruises that were canceled today on June the 8th, you can go to their website, fill out a form. You can work with your travel advisor uh, to get your refund started. But the clock's not even going to start until June the 8th. And so the onus is on you to make sure you mark your calendar to ask for your money back. I don't I don't like this. This seems this seems a little more complicated than it could be and it's just a short window. So uh, let me make it clear because I feel like I'm rambling on. You can get the future cruise credit today. You can book a cruise today. You can get a 20% discount if you do that before May the 31st. But if you're somebody who would like their money back, you have to put a reminder in your calendar for June the 8th. You have to you have to go back June the 8th. You have to go fill out a form to request your money back and then wait the 90 days. The 90-day clock's not even going to start until June the 8th. And don't forget, because you only have until June the 19th to request your refund. <laughs> like I said, I don't like it. It seems like a way too much hoops to jump through to get your money back, considering when you pay for your cruise, your money gets pulled out right away. Now, obviously, it's a business. It's hard times for the cruise industry. They want to keep that money in-house. And so, of course, they are making the easiest option, uh, the future cruise credit today. You could use your future cruise credit, get something else on the books. But yes, uh, holding on to the money. I get it, but man, it, uh, it... I love cruising and it leaves a sour taste in my mouth. And I'm not just picking on Norwegian cruise lines. All of these refund policies have their challenges. Uh, This waiting 90 days to get your money uh, based on the claims of it's hard to get the money back. uh, Okay. But still it's, uh, you know, customers willfully gave you their money quickly and to make them wait based on sailing dates. And uh, it it goes across all the cruise lines. We've seen that nobody's really like popping the money out very quick across any of the cruise lines. And so I think at the end of the day, this is going to be something in the future that I would hope there would be a better process. But yeah, uh, shocked. I was just shocked that you have to wait 19 days before you can ask for your refund. And I asked Jenny, I said, is this, does this been happening? And she's like, yeah, it's uh, there's dates that you can 
ask for the refunds. So now Norwegian falling in line with Carnival, and I would expect within the next week or two, you will see Royal Caribbean falling in line, saying they won't start sailing again until August. We'll be on the lookout for that. The question for the comments is the same one I have on all of these cancellation videos. Would you take the refund? Would you take the future cruise credit? Were you affected by this cancellation? Were you supposed to sell on NCL in June, July? And now what you going to do? Uh, I just want cruising to start up again, but uh, uh, at the same time, I want everybody to be safe. It's going to be an interesting balance to see struck over the next few months, over the next year. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please show your support for the show by hitting that like button. Again, my name's Tony for La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.